got the war. Wait, what? <laughs> What is up the world? I don't have to poop. It's your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Playing some Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, peeps. Oh, yeah, peeps. And we're back doing some Ark stuff and things. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Oh, took a little damage there. Little ladder foul. Oh, look, amazing fog. So great. Um, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really great day. And today, I have some stuff and things that I want to do. You know, but thinking about... Doing stuff on the server. We do building stuff. We do taming stuff. And it just felt like I wanted to do something a little bit different today. And so, do we not have a Quetz platform saddle? Can we even build a Quetz platform saddle? A little bit of a spoiler. We might be building a Quetz platform saddle today. We have that right there. Got to build it in the smithy. So, um, yeah, we're going to build a Quetz platform saddle today. I want to team a penguin army. You know, the penguins are the Dimorphodon of the sea ish and they can go on land they can't fly which would be amazing so i can't wait for arc to have mods so why did i come up here oh yeah smithy i can't wait for arc to have mods so that we can have flying penguins and all sorts of cool stuff like that i mean there are mods now but it's a little difficult anyway whatever let's just get beyond that but i would be really funny if there was flying penguins but yeah i want a penguin army i think that it's not something i don't think it's too much to ask 600 hide 400 fiber oh my gosh we got a bunch of stuff to stick in here. But um, we got a few things we're going to have to get ready in order to start getting it going. So a Quetz platform saddle, first and foremost, is going to be a thing. We need to go get some hide and fiber. Make a little U-turn. Look at this perfect, amazing spiral. And uh, so, yeah, I want to want to get the Penguin Army. So I'm thinking about how we're doing it. We're going to need, I think, a little... My, why am I in here? We're going to need a little bit of a platform to store them all on. So, 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 like that. Oh, wait, what? What, what? Uh... And so that's where we're going to start off today by building something on the back of our quets on Pugly so that we can kind of move them around and bring them all around because they can't fly. Um, I think it would be really, really cool. So we're going to do a bunch of taming of all of them as well. And I've got a bunch of darts built. You can see I have 100 now. So this is pretty expensive stuff. Hopefully it works out pretty good for us. Um, let me see here. What else are we going to need? 220 silica pearls and 120 cementing paste. Holy crap. Oh, I think I've got that stuff all ready to go. Let's go down here and see. So, um, yeah, tell you what, guys, I want to take a second, as I always do, to say thank you so much for all your likes and support on the series. What was that? <laughs> I really do appreciate it, guys. If you like the video, yeah, that's, there we go. Please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and show your support if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe, peeps, for all the stuff and things. All right, so we need 120. We'll just grab 200, and then we need 220 silica pearls. Do I have any in here? No, really? Oh, wait, we have two. Two? We only need 218 more. We're on our way. There's no silica pearls? Oh, my gosh. You know what? I might have some somewhere else. Let me take a look here real quick. Do we have any silica pearls over here in mobility? Inside of this fabricator? Pretty please? Pretty please? Oh, I've already pulled almost everything out of there. All right. Going to go get some silica pearls. Uh, build the Quetz platform saddle, and then I'll be RBs, peeps. And we're back. We got all the stuff and things, peeps. I got like several hundred thousand million, maybe just several hundred. Uh, what? No, this is where it is. Of the silica pearls. So we have all the things. We can make the Quetz platform saddle. It is an amazing thing. Let us do it. Is this the one? Platform saddle? Nail that ace the stop. Oh, we're making it. Oh, it's about to happen. Are you guys feeling excited? Oh, we're almost at 50%. We're almost there. Oh, there it is. 50%, 60%. Oh, so exciting. 90%. Nail that ace that can't be stopped. We have the Quetzal platform saddle, ladies and gentle peeps. Rejoice. Oh, we're so heavy. Oh, why are we so fat right now? Ugh. Yes, 50 would be gone. All right, so we got to kind of probably move this guy. We got to get Pugly moved around a little bit. Let us go like a soup. And we'll come up here. Wait, we'll come up over here like a soup. Oh, Pugly, come to me. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get over into this early area like so. All right. Now, let us go ahead and we'll pop this saddle off into his inventory. And then uh, we will squirt this saddle on him like a so. Nailed it. He is the thing. We have a platform saddle now. Okay. Now, let us go ahead inside of here. Let's grab some of these foundations. And let me take a look here what we can do. So we're probably going to have to do. I don't know how this is going to work out. We could get like one of these like over here, like right, right here. Nailed the ace that can't be stopped right there. 
Oh yeah, baby. It's not quite in the center, but I feel like we're just gonna go with it because I'm pretty feeling pretty good. All right, like so and like so. Now if we're on here and we dismount, and we, can we just walk up on that? Okay, we can. So this will probably be pretty good, I guess. We're gonna need a doorway. I guess we'll put it over here, which I didn't build one of those. All right, so we're gonna build a box. This is the most amazing box we've ever built today. Penguin box. Nailed it. All right, so we got it. We do have to build a couple other things real quick. Let me see if we have any of them already created here. So this, 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 we don't even need. Uh, let's look inside of here for door frame. Oh, yeah, baby, that's what's up. And we have a reinforced door. Oh, wait, that's a window. Uh, regular wooden door. Oh, yeah, nail the day to came stop. All right, so now we'll come over here. Blah, 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 blah. Getting a little bit of organization stuff and things happening. Like that. Oh, wait, I see you, walls. You think I didn't see you? I do. Uh, like this. All right, sweet. So now... Up into here. Door. Nailed it. Door frame. Oh, yeah. Now, can we just walk up inside of here? What? Okay. Kind of, sort of. It doesn't really matter if we can get in there, I don't think. The biggest thing is that we just want to be able to put our tamed guys inside of here. That's, like, the biggest deal. So, we've got... I don't know. 50 trank arrows. I don't know how many... Or trank darts. I don't know how many of the penguins we're going to be able to knock out with that. So, we're going to have to... I guess we're just going to have to see. We've got our box. It looks amazing. We could have built a bigger one, I think. But it's not about size. Well, sometimes it is. But not in this instance. Nailed it. All right. So, over to the penguin sanctuary. Oh, wait. Uh, uh No. We're going to need some... Um, We're going to need our fur armor first. So, I'm going to grab that on an ounce. And then we're going to go up. And we're going to start to tame our penguin army. BRBs, peeps. And we're back in Penguin Town. Oh, what crap? There's more? Ouncy, get him! There were some wolves over here. Obviously, we're still having a bit of a problem. All right, Ouncy. I got Ouncy on neutral right now because we're in dangerous territory here. Can I not fly? Is this going to be a thing? All right, here we go. We're in dangerous territory here. So Ouncy's on neutral. Also, I made, I forgot, and I made a trough in here because a lot of these guys are going to be juvenile. And so they're going to need food. So we're going to either have to feed them food, you know what I mean, manually, which it's good that we have some wolves here. We can eat their foods. Three raw meat? What kind of wolf? What? What? So anyway, we're going to need a little bit of meat. So we got it. We got it. And there's penguins all over the place. And we have some meat on Ouncy. So we're good to go in that respect. All right. Now the days it can be stopped. Let's come over here. Hello, little penguin. You're level 16. <laughs> you're dead. I mean, you're tranked. As if. For real? Two trank arrows. All right, unconscious. Nail the days to can't be stopped. So now we come over here. We can grab, what do you think? Make like three primes and then maybe some meats like so. Let's access the inventory. Everybody together now. Oh, that was it. Nail the days to can't be stopped. Penguin. We got a penguin. Let's name them all something. Let's name them all. What do you think? Let's name all the guy penguins Kevin and all the lady penguins Jessica. So, all right, hold on. Do you have meat on you? You do. You know what's interesting about these? You don't have to imprint. Hmm, I guess it's a, they're not baby babies. So that's the thing. This is a male one. So we've got to go ahead and name him Kevin. All right, nailed the day stick. Can't be stopped. Hello, Kevin. How is it going today? So he's still eating meat from his inventory. So now we've got Kevin. This is a little bit of experimentation because I really am not sure how this is going to work, to be honest with you. Oh, man, this is going to be a little bit tough, isn't it? It's like a sniper. I got to snipe the penguin. All right. So now we come over here like so. Are you in there, Kevin? No, Kevin, why? Why do you hate your slip gator? Get inside the box. He's in. All right. Kevin's in the box. All right. So now this is the question I have. I'm pretty sure. And I'm not really sure how this works, but I'm pretty sure if I now fly, Kevin will stay in the box. Okay, so Kevin's in the box. All right, we're good to go with that. Now, the question I have is, if I shut the door, if I follow, will Kevin stay in the box? So with Pugly on follow, does Kevin still stay in the box? He does? All right, cool. So just checking. I just want to check the logistics of some stuff and things here. Oh, no, wait. Nope, nope. And then you stop following. And then one of these. And then, nope. Well, crap. Ugh, can I not? Ugh, ugh. All right. So, oh, Kevin fell out of the box. No, this is the worst. All right. Um, 
Oh, he's on follow. That might be a problem. That might be why that happened. Um, because I'm thinking when Pugly's following me, it actually may be more difficult for the game to keep all the penguins in the box. Are you gonna come over here, homie? All right, now land. It may be a little bit more more difficult, so I might have to fly around on Pugly, and that probably, maybe, will keep the penguins in the box. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to transport a penguin back to the base every single time I tame one. We don't want that to be a thing. So, all right, what do we got over here? Floating penguin. Level 36. Can I have some music, please, so it seems intense? No? Oh, there we go. Intensity, 100%. You're down. All right, he's down. Nailed it to KB stuff. We'll take maybe three meats for this guy. Let's see here. Oh, he ate one. Oh, baby. These guys are going to tame up super quick. I'm guessing three will be enough on him. Now, these guys are going to be a little bit tougher because they're close to the water. Um, and I'm not sure how that's going to work out as far as them running away. So, you know what might be a smart idea for these guys that are on the edge? If we were to come over and grab them. Like a so. And then maybe drop them over here. Like a so. Oh, we got him! I wish I knew what kind of... If it was a lady or a dude. Kevin. Nail the dice to KB stopped! So you stay there. One of these, level 24. Oh, baby, he's out! He's out for the count. Oh, he got killed. I killed it. That was the ultimate critical. Did you see that, Kevin? Are you a lady? He did. She, she said yes. All right, Jessica. Do you see I just killed your buddy, like, super fast? If we wanted to harvest meats from this, we would use... I was thinking, yeah. Like, so... I forgot. I know. I'm sorry. Tons of organic polymer. Tons of raw meat. Uh, no, no prime meat, which actually it seems like there was a little bit. I don't know if it's a bug or intended, but the um, Kairuku were giving up huge amounts of prime meat as well. So, all right. Now we can stick you inside of there like that. Did you go in? I can't even see. Let's double, double check our system here. Make sure everything's working. <laughs> Ugh, no. The baby's in here. He's doing fine on meat. Where did the little other penguin go? Oh, we're getting, like, stuck and stuff. Oh, uh, what? All right. Any hoozle. I feel like our system is working. Kind of, sort of. We're just going to have to keep an eye on it. So now we can put you inside of there. That's the noise you make whenever you drop a penguin in the back of a, of a quetzal. All right. Just so you know. All right. All right. We're in. You're so much bigger. And you're almost mature. So you're going to eat straight from the trough anyway. So we don't even need to have meat on you for reals. Yeah. Give me that. All right. All right. We're doing it, peeps. All right. So I'm going to tame up some more penguins. And then we'll be our bees in a minute. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. It's very cold out in the Arctic wastelands at night. Unless you have a whole team of Kevin's and Jessica's to warm you up. These guys provide insulations, and as you can see, now we've got a whole bunch of Kevins and Jessicas. You know what? Also, there seems to be a lot more Jessicas than Kevins. Let me introduce you to our, our penguins. This is Kevin. Uh, that's Jessica. She was a level 100 and tamed out at 148, and so we gave her an expletive name. We have Jessica. This is Jessica. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Hello, Kevin. And this is Jessica. And meet Jessica. They're so amazing, and they keep us warm out here while we're taming. And as far as colors go, I think they're all pretty standard. This guy looks a little bit light, but kind of looks like that. Look at the, the coloring on him. is pretty unbelievably cool. Uh, this guy's like red colored, which is pretty neat. Hey, little red Kevin or Jessica, possibly. Oh, you're Kevin. Yep, I knew it. I could tell. So um, we got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. And one kind of strange thing happened. I went... I kind of had Pugly over, like, in that area over there. Um, you can see right there. There's, like, a little cliff there, a ledge or whatever. And I had Pugly over there. Um, and I came over here to do some taming. Is it still? No, we're not still super cold. So I came over here to do some taming. And I'll actually tell you about this while I tame another one of these guys. But what ended up happening was kind of really weird. 28. 
You could probably take a headshot. Oh, you're done, baby. Oh, you know what? Crap, well, that's right. I'm out of prime meat, too. I forgot about that. Um, the taming does go quite a bit faster with the prime. But what ended up happening was everybody that was inside the platform saddle fell onto the ground. Just... I thought I heard battle music. Just for me, like, um, being out of the area far enough. So, no bueno at all. It means that, like, if I was to take Ouncey out to go get prime meat right now, for instance, um, that would make all of those guys fall out of the saddle. So, kind of crappy. But we got another guy over here, level 17, that just tamed up. What's your name? Oh, hey, Kevin. Come with me. You're going to be best buddies with all of, the, all of these guys. Do you have any prime meats on you? No, you just have regular meats. I guess we could just use regular meats. They seem to still tame up. With primes, they tame up like it's near instant. Pretty crazy. With them being so low level like this, I guess it doesn't really matter if we use the prime. Hi, can I please pick you up? Thank you. All right, come over here, buddy. Come with all your buddy friends. There you go. All right, so we still got more. I want to get like 10 of them, I think. So what did we say? We had eight, nine. This will be number 10. We got a little baby one over here. Hey, little buddy. Level 28. How you doing? Oh, yeah. How's that feel? Oh. Yeah, you feeling the juice? You feeling juiced? Oh, after a couple headshots, you got to be really careful. You can't headshot him too many times. Can you pass out for me there, buddy? Oh, four darts. Come on, juvenile penguin. Five. Oh, yeah, now you're down. That's what's up. Feeling good? Feeling strong? Feeling sleepy, I bet. All right. So let's get a couple more tamed up, and then I want to take a trip maybe in the water with these guys. Um, I got to get them all out, actually, now that I put them all in here. Um, I got to take them all out so we can go on a little underwater adventure. Oh, hey, Kevin. And we're back with our penguin. This isn't really a penguin army. It's more like a penguin militia. With the penguin militia. Come on, guys. Look at them all coming. This is going to get so great. We're only about halfway to the greatness that it's going to be. Come on, we're all going to go into water. Look at them go. They're going a million miles an hour now. Hold on. Come on, guys. All right, we're going to go swimming. I don't know if they're going to be able to get in and out of the water. We may lose some penguins. What are your names anyway? Oh, yeah. So, um, all right, let's head down inside. I want to see how this works out with the penguin. Come to me, penguin militia. Come to me. Look at them all coming to me. Yes, look how amazing it is. <laughs> They're so fast. They're the dimorphodons of the sea. This is amazing. Look how cute it is. I can't even believe it. They're flying in formation. <laughs> oh, I can see. Oh, how did I do that? Oh, it's amazing glitch. I'm just, uh, oh, no, I'm stuck. Okay, no, are we dead? Where did that guys go? Are you all gone? No, you're still with us. If you just uh, go above the surface and then look down, you get the most amazing view of all time. I wish it was always like that. Um, so, okay, we've basically established <laughs> this is the most amazing thing of all time. Oh, they just pooped. Buy your poop. That's what all this floaty stuff is in the water. All right, now we've got to see. I'm a little bit concerned. Can everybody get out? <laughs> Are you guys all going to be able to get out of the water? Oh, look at them come. They're all like, oh, look at it. Yes, it's so great. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are the best. Oh, come on. Get to the suit. Hold on. Let me change my feet. My feet shoes. Come on. Super fast mode. Show them all super fast mode. It's the best. Get the wings out, baby. You're almost going to take flight. Just a couple more. Just a little. Start flapping. Just a little bit more. I feel like if you just got a little bit more speed, you could just take right off. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. We're going to bring our penguin militia over here. Um, I got a little bit more food, but we're kind of running low on meat. Um, the guys, we still have babies inside of here, and they are... Oh, we have a baby? Oh, there's a couple more in there. All right. Unfollow and mass. Stand here. Stand guard. Oh, they all leveled up from being amazing. 100 hit points? Maybe a little bit more hit points. Oh, gosh. Their hit points are so low. How many points of hits do you have? 190? 241? Are you getting 50? Whoa, Kevin. Are you Kevin? Yeah, that was level 18, Kevin. He's killing it. Um, so, yeah, my point is, or what I'm going to say next, is that we need to go and tame up some more of these guys. We need to get our penguin army into penguin militia status. BRBs, peeps. And we're back with the penguin army. 
Look at him! Look how amazing our penguin army is! Come to me, penguin army! One of us, one if us, one if us. They're so unbelievably amazing! We got one guy in here that I actually did end up painting because he, if you can barely see at the very top of the screen there, is level 160. He was 108 and tamed him out with Prime. He has 600 health, 660 stamina, a whopping 91 weight, but he has 400% melee damage and 300% movement speed. He's absolutely unbelievable. So actually, we got to real quick come back over here because I was going to just start bringing these guys back to the base, but I really wanted to take a second. Oh, I have all my stuff on me. I want to take a second to go for a swim with all of them. Look how amazing they are. They're so amazing. I want to take a minute to go for a swim with all these guys. Let's get, come on over here, peeps. We're going to go swimming. You guys excited to go swimming? Oh, they say they are. Are you guys ready? All right. Hopefully nothing's dangerous in here. Maybe it is, and we'll get in a fight. It'll be awesome. Come to me, huge penguin army. Is there anything bad around? Doesn't look like it. Oh, is that oil? Okay. Ready? There they are! Look at them all! <laughs> this is so crazy cool, man! If you could actually level them up so that they would be like a force to be reckoned with underwater, it would be so amazing! This is so cool! I'm super cold right now. I bet. Yeah. I didn't take... Um, it didn't really take that long to tame them all up. I mean, it was a couple of hours. Maybe, maybe two, three hours to get them all up. I don't know. Two hours probably. Um, but... They're crazy cool. Look at them all. Oh my God. I love somebody pooped. And also one of the other benefits of having all these guys that you may not know is the Kairuku egg is the kibble. Look at them. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. The Kairuku egg is the kibble for anglerfish. So at the very least, beyond this being unbelievably hilarious, look at them all, the penguin army. Um, it is going to be a benefit for to us for the kibble, so it's going to be really great. So we got to get them all back to the base now, the, peng the penguin army. Oh, look at it! Holy crap! We got all, all Kairuku eggs over here. Give it to me, the eggs. Oh, yeah, and then you follow me over here, Pugly. Because Pugly still got a few little babies in there. It looks like they're actually staying in pretty good. Oh, no, he dropped them all. So, yeah, I'm going to have to ride him in order to make that happen, but I already did find one Kairuku egg on... Um, on the ground. And so we've got a bunch of them now. Oh, yeah, baby. So we got to unfollow everybody. Now I have the arduous task. And this by is going to absolutely be an arduous task of carrying, picking them all up, putting them all inside a Pugly, and then we have to get them all back to the base. Yeah, we got to get them back to the base. I mean, I was like, how should we bring them all to the base? It's going to be like a whole thing. I don't know. I guess but that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring them back to the base for now. So, all right, I'm going to start picking them up and sticking them in, and uh, we'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. Oh, baby, that's all of them. All of the Kevins and Jessicas are loaded in. I think we got a couple more eggs already, too. We've already, just from the time we've been taming and, like, getting these guys going and getting all the stuff and things going, how many eggs do we have now? We've already got eight. Eight eggs already. So we're killing it in the egg department. All right, let's head up here. Can, can we close the door? All right. So they're all they're all in there. They're all pooping away. Pooping away a storm of poops. I bet that box is going to smell great by the time we get back to home base. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Look at all the penguins in there, man. All right. So I'm a little bit concerned about how this is going to work. But uh, I'm, I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try because we've got to, mister. Oh, no, no, no. See, we've got to get just ouncy. Okay, Ouncey's following us. Oh, look at all the poops and eggs that just fall out everywhere. They flailed. Are they still in there, or did they fall out for reals? Okay, I think they're still in there. All right, we've got Ouncey. <laughs> we got a poop machine empire. Oh, gosh, I hope all these guys stay in. Are they staying in? Did we drop anybody? Is everybody there? Everybody have their buddy? All right, everybody's supposed to have their buddy. And... I'm hoping Ouncey doesn't hit any of them or anything like that. If we lose one or two, I wouldn't be that upset, especially if they were males. But I will be upset if we lose Ultimate Kevin, because um, that would be really very, very bad. Um, but okay, I think we're going to do it, peeps. I think we're going to bring a bazillion penguins. Look at that. They're all the penguins. 
I don't know why this tickles me so much, but it does. It's so amazing. And their poops are flying everywhere. This is so great. They look like they're really solid. When you put the names on, it looks like they're all bouncing around everywhere. But inside of here, I think it's good. I think we're good to go. All right, back to base, peeps. BRBs. And we're back. And it, I just wanted to pause for a moment. Um, because we're like a thousand feet in the air on the back of a giant duck that we built a, like a house on. And then we put like 25 penguins inside of it. And it just like struck me that, that this is the thing that's happening right now in this video game. Like I was just like, I'm really doing this right now. We're really on a giant duck with a box house on his back with a million little ducks inside of him. It's just kind of crazy. Do you not see how this is kind of crazy and amazing? It's crazy amazing. It's just the thing that happened, and I think it's great, and I wanted to share it with you, and I just think it's so crazy. <laughs> it's so great, man. All right. All right, beer beast. And we're back. Came on in for a landing. We made it with every single one of our special buddies. Where did he go? Bouncy, are you going to land over there? All right. So with every one of our little special buddies until we have made it, let's go ahead and just check the cargo. It's a little laggy at the base now. <laughs> we got a little bit of lags here. All right. Let me see. Let's, uh, no, we don't want to rename you. What I'd love to do is close this door and then reopen it out. Like so. All right. Sweet. So now what we've got to do is we've got to start to get these guys. I don't know how I can get them to all follow. I can't do a follow all because everything in the area will follow me. So I've got to pull them out. And then I tried pulling them out actually earlier with um, Auntie. And whenever they, uh, when the, the dino that's being carried impacts the wall. Oh, you know what? I got a perfect idea. Just nailed it. I'm amazing. Super smart. Way, way easier to get them all off now. All right. So now we can go ahead and start getting these guys followed and get them off and get them all unloaded. Oh my God. Penguin army. And we're back. Come to me, my penguin army. Come to me. We have the penguin army. It is a thing. It was a good day, peeps. We got a lot of stuff and things done. I had a really good time. We got a lot of new dinos. And we got all of the angler uh, kibble we could ever want. This is going to be amazing. Oh, my gosh. Penguin Army, peeps. Thumbs up for the Penguin Army. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up.